So this is a simple way for me to treat my pond with potassium permanganate, but without shocking the biofiltration. So I uh, got a five, maybe five or seven gallon bucket, drill a tiny hole in the middle, um, one eighth of an inch. It's a standard drill bit from Home Depot store. You see that right there? It's got a little hole down there. And then uh, what I do is I stick a piece of lumber or two by, well in this case it's two by three, but you can use a two by four. Stick it across right like this. And then I put it down my pawn. Kind of like let it hang on the on the edge like that. See that right there? Pretty simple, right? But I have to scoop some water in, so I'm gonna get some water real quick. There we go. I just gotta get some water in there. And then bring it back up. So the purpose of this is to have the PP in but slowly enough so that it doesn't overwhelm your system. It's gonna take, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes to dissipate and just drip down very slowly. And then the water will circulate so that it will get inside the water, but you're not overwhelming it all at once. So I'm gonna do that right now. And remember, with PP, you gotta make sure you know the measurement. So even though you're seeing me scoop, using one scoop right here, it doesn't mean that this one scoop is gonna work for your pond. Let me see. Actually, let me put the phone down real quick. Okay. So here is the scoop that I'm using uh, based on my pond size. So this will give me two parts per million and uh, it will allow me to uh, treat the pond uh, weekly this way um, but uh, you can also do like a smaller dosage in the middle of the week to uh, you know keep it up so technically I, I, I do two but the one I do in the middle of the week is a lot less so gets in there gets very purple and we want to mix that up so I gotta mix it up we want it to be as um, diluted in here as possible first. Now, uh, when you first mix it, the first round, you're not gonna be able to get it all to dissolve. I think the PP crystals may take a little bit longer than that. So, try as you, you know, try as best as you can, mix it in. And then what we have to do is pour that into this bucket. So as you can see, I'm gonna do it right now. So we're gonna pour that in. And then, there's gonna be some crystals left. You see that right there? So we wanna mix it a second time. Because it can't dissolve all quickly. Um, usually I do like a second stirring of this and then I'll be able to mix the rest of it in. And I can, if you can hear the sound of the crystals rubbing against the bottom of this small container, you know it's still in there. So we wanna stir it for a good like 15, 20, 30 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna dump the second part in. See, so most of it is pretty much gone from in here, and I'm gonna scoop another one, dump it in here. So I'm gonna fill this bucket here that's hanging on this uh, piece of lumber. I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top. And then what this does is, it dilutes the, the PP inside here first. But then uh, underneath the container, obviously, you know, it's gonna slowly drip out just based on gravity. So we're gonna have it slowly 
So it's gonna take another 15 or so minutes, right? Maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes, and it's gonna go down as far as the water level. So once it goes all the way down there, what I do is I come back out, fill it in again, and then just let it go down a second time, and then I dump the rest in. So what this does is it guarantees that the PP that gets into your pond is gonna be going through the water volume or the body of the water first instead of going straight to the filter like if I dump this whole thing in you know with the with the circulation of the pump it's gonna go straight into the filter and obviously it you know at 2 ppm it's not gonna overwhelm the system I know that for a fact but if you want to be extra safe let's say you're dousing it at a higher dosage like 4 ppm for treatment or even like 6 ppm for treatment you don't want to do it all at the same time you know you just want to do it slowly and it's, it's gonna take a, like a good 20 30 minutes for this whole process so um, it's worth it to be safe just let it stay in the water that's where you want it you don't want to hit in all your filters too much but at 2 ppm um, I've done this before a number of times and even though if I dump the whole thing in and it goes through the filter it doesn't destroy the bacteria but that's just my scenario and my experience uh, you might want to try it with your system to be sure it's safe so as you can see it's already slowly going down um, and as it goes down the water on that side is getting more purple but it's getting dissolved, it's getting diluted inside a much larger body at a slower rate. So uh, it's pretty safe for the fish, it doesn't really shock them. And this is how I do it every week. Midweek I do like half a scoop of that, so a little less. It keeps the water clean and clear, um, reduce the need to uh, change water, and it just kills off a lot of things in the water that will, you know, likely harm your fish. So what this also does is help increase the oxygen in the water after it clears up because um, there's less things taking of the oxygen inside the water so give this a try and uh, if this is something that you'd like to do make sure you do more research on it don't just randomly throw a scoop of this stuff in because if you don't know the dilution ratio you're gonna kill your fish real fast